Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am sharing the Spellbinders November club kits that I get to craft with this month. And they, I don't get everything, but I'll show you what I do get. The Spellbinders um, monthly club kits are open today, uh, October 6th, if you are interested in signing up for a new um, monthly subscription or to change your subscriptions, cancel them. It's really very easy to do. There's no contract period or anything like that. So even if you wanted to just sign up for one month, you could totally do that and cancel the next month. But if you want to make sure that you get these each month, the best way to um, be the first to have them at your doorstep is to subscribe. So the kits that I have that I'll be working with are the um, card kit of the month. So I'm not going to unbox this. I have a separate unboxing for the contents of the kit. This is wonderful things and it's gorgeous so very crafted with that a little bit then the other kits that i get are the clear stamp and die of the month so it is an option to get it with the coordinating dies and or you could just get it the stamp set by itself and my stamps are a little bit stained because i have crafted with this already the this is gorgeous the nice thing about it is that you have these large brush lettering and those are the ones that have the coordinating coordinating dies to go with but then you have this banner die really you could use that in so many different ways and all of these sentiments will fit in there. And you can see that there are some short ones as well. And that's not a problem even with a long die like this. You can just die cut it from one end and then um, cut it down to length either with scissors or you can just run it through your die again so that you have that nice professional edge uh, all the way around. And the sentiments are wonderful. They are all year long because you have some that are uh, that will have you covered for birthdays um, and belated birthdays as well, which I really like. There are some gratitude ones like um, the warmest thanks. So you could do sending you the warmest thanks. Then there are some really nice encouragement ones as well. So you've got you are adored or um, just have a sweet day. Some that might be a little bit more um, kind of your uh, sympathy card. So you have, you are in my thoughts, which is wonderful. And there's a really nice assortment there. And it's a good size too. I love how big these, uh, the, the font type is. So that's really awesome. That's the clear stamp and die of the month. And then I also have the small die of the month which is here and there's this really lovely word die this is all connected so when you die cut this it all comes out in one piece which makes it really nice for um, placement you don't have to worry about individual letters um, losing them <laughs> and then you have this is really cool so these florals are really neat because they're sort of like your um i've heard it described in other brands as skeleton dies. So basically it's the outline um, that you're going to get. And so, for example, if you look at this, you're, you'll see that there is actually a um, um, all of these open areas. It does die cut inside there. So that piece will drop out completely. So if you want to do some like die cut inlaying, you could die cut it out of multiple colors and then inlay like a different color back in right here because when you die cut this you get the you get the whole outline of the flower and all of the details as well and that's the same for this as well and this does have an included sort of uh, shadow or a backdrop um, die that you can layer beneath it and then you've got all these little pretty um, flowers and as well this really lovely scalloped rectangle die that's that's a really nice one so that's our small die of the month then there's also the large die of the month which is 
really, really cool. You kind of have to look at the、um, product packaging for this because it's pretty, it's pretty unique. It's kind of, it's kind of neat. So these might look like oddly shaped flower petals, but they've been designed so that you can jigsaw these pieces together and actually have it fit into. A USA two card front that goes, you know, edge to edge, and that's why some of these、uh, have rather, uh, like squarish corners. And that's so that you can have the design actually fit all the way to the edge, um, on all four corners. But it's really great because these individual elements, um, can just work on their own. As well, you don't necessarily have to tile them to create that full-on、um, background, and you've got your different layers too. So, for example, these larger flowers do have the the inner little、um, kind of the stamen area in the centers there, and then this here, the little branch with these berries, you've got some layers that you can add some additional details on. To those as well, and then you've got this vase here, which is really lovely, and as well three different word dies. Now, the interesting thing is, if you look at the font of Hello, it's the same font, but for one, these are smaller than that, and the second notable difference is that. These actually cut out individual letters. They are not connected like this one is. So I kind of, you know, I kind of see pros and cons of both because when it's connected like this, you can. It's really easy to、uh, position it onto your card because it's all one piece. When it's separated like this, you do have to position and line things up again. That could be a good thing, though, because, for example, if you didn't want your sentiment to read、um, horizontally, maybe you want to reconfigure your sentiment so that it runs vertically instead. Well, you've got that flexibility if the letters are cut out individually. The other thing, the other benefit, and I really appreciate that they made this choice for the large die of the month because we do have three different word dies here. And because they do cut out their letters individually, that means that you can actually mix and match the letters and create new words. They're all the same size, it looks like. So, for example, we have hello, you, and smile. Well, there's I know there's some repeat letters, but there are、um, a fair amount of letters that will allow you to create some different words as well. So you could do H E Y for hey. You can、um, you can do、uh, yell <laughs> y e l l. I don't know why you would, but you could, <laughs> and you could、um, just kind of go through here. And if you're good at Scrabble, maybe you'll be able to come up with a lot of different words that you can create from、um, this grouping of letters. So I think that's really、um, kind of fun, and it just helps you to stretch your supplies a little bit more. So I do appreciate that they made the choice to have individual letters in this set because we're getting three different word dies. So that just gives you more letters to work with. So that's the small and large. Uh, dice of the month. Then I also get the glimmer of the month. This this month is kind of like all about sentiments, which I love because I feel like you can't really get enough sentiments. They、um, are so versatile. And again, with the、uh, glimmer of the month, just like with the clear stamp of the month, there are a lot of sentiments that are great for all year round. So, for example, we have two. Glimmer plates. Each of them will actually glimmer seven different sentiments, and this top one we have.、Um, it's actually upside down. So we have happy birthday, congratulations, thanks a million, thanks so much, a gift for you,、uh, thinking of you, and Christmas wishes. Then on this plate here we have holiday greetings. Uh, always and forever, hello friend. Just saying hello. 
uh, feel better soon from all of us. So happy for you. So those are really wonderful and it's nice to be able to just run a plate through or you could really run both of them through at the same time and then boom, you've got 14 different sentiments that you can just kind of save in your little crafty stash for when you need it. But then on top of that, there is a coordinating die that will cut out all seven of those uh, sentiment banners at the same time. And these are double uh, fishtail ended banners. So really, really convenient. And this is exactly how I like to glimmer. I do like to um, do a lot of glimmering at at the same time, you know, while your machine's warm, why not? And press plates or uh, glimmer plates like these are really fabulous because you can really kind of beef up your stash of glimmered sentiments very, very quickly. I find it hard to kind of line up a lot of individual glimmer plates. And so by putting them all on a single plate like this, it's so, so convenient. And then of course, having that die to cut them all out at the same time is really, really fabulous. Then I also get the Better Press of the Month, and I've really been enjoying this new club kit. It's really, really phenomenal. And this, this is a heavy plate. Like, look, look how big that is and how intricate that design is. It's truly, truly amazing. So let me, let me measure this real quick because I don't think I have before. It's four and a half by uh, nearly six five and three quarters it looks like so that's that's pretty awesome how big this is and what makes it great is that you can uh if you craft a two so four and a quarter by five and a half you can really get this design all the way to the edge and off the edge and what i like about that is you don't have to worry about super precisely lining this up with your a2 panel because it's it's bigger than your a2 panel so you can ink this whole thing up put your a2 panel um somewhere kind of close-ish to uh within here and then you can always just trim it to even it up because the design is symmetrical um both ways so really really lovely and then on top of that there are some sentiments as well so the sentiments are all the best many thanks and hello there and what's really neat is that this font here this font is actually similar to the font in the clear stamp of the month if not the same I think it's the same and I love this font it's really when you stamp this out it's very thin and um and it's just really beautiful I love the size of it too I know I've mentioned that but <laughs> I so often I have a lot of sentiment uh stamps that are like the really small ones and so it's really nice to have a, a good size one like that and then finally, last but not least, is the uh, 3D embossing folder of the month. And this one is just really lovely. I do love the 3D embossing folders because they give you so, so much dimension. And I, I love, if you've seen my uh, haul videos, you know this already. I, I love designs like these because they are uh, non-directional, so you can use them any which way. And why that's fabulous is because I do make USA2 cards the most often. Right now I'm on a kick of using up my 4x6 card bases because I have so many pre-made ones, but I generally when I'm making my own card bases and what I reflexively go to is a two and with embossing folders this size and with designs that are non-directional, you can get two embossed panels with each pass through your die cutting machine. So I love that because of um, how convenient it is. So really, really beautiful pattern. And you can kind of see this as a floral pattern, but you, you know, some folks might just see this as a geometric as well. And so I love that you can use this all year round. 
you can maybe even sort of see this as, um, like when I look at it, I see it as daisies, uh, little flower. But I know everybody might, might um, kind of, their eyes might be attracted to like a different aspect of the design. And that's why I like designs like these. It's really subtle. It just is nice to add, you know, that little bit of texture um, to the background of a card. So those are the kits that I'll be crafting with. I already have my flip video out. So if you haven't watched that, um, I use a lot of the different club kits. I think the only club kit I did not use in my flip video. Oh, I think this is the only one. I think the embossing folder is the only um, club kit I didn't use in my flip video. So I'll definitely be crafting more with the kit i've got um some more crafting i definitely want to do with the card kit of the month and so um be sure to check out my spellbinders playlist and that's where i collect all of my tutorials and process videos where i craft with and showcase spellbinders products thanks so much i'll leave links to everything in the description box below in case you want to check out any of these in more detail on the website and uh, the monthly subscriptions are open to new subscribers so feel free to join up if you are interested if you do shop with any of my affiliate links thank you so much i really appreciate it i get a little bit of a commission which comes at no cost to you, but it definitely is helpful to me as a content creator. And I know you have your choice in links <laughs> that uh, you can be using. So uh, thank you so much for using mine if you do. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.